Hi, I'm Zachary. I'm from um, Philadelphia, and I have CVID. And I'm his mom, Heather. I'm Grayson um, from Florida, and I have CVID. And I'm Melody, his mom. So we thought it would be good to tell their story. Um, four years ago, um, Zachary and I got on an airplane in Philadelphia and arrived to New Orleans for our second IDF conference. And we were a little overwhelmed because we were by ourselves and didn't really know anybody. Um, and we went to the first session of our first night there, and I think it was a networking with mm -hmm. other parents of young children with PI. And it just so happened that across from me was Melody. Yeah. Um, and we realized we had sons who were just about the same age. Yeah. So um, what do you remember of that, Zach? Um, I just remember after that we were spending a lot of time with each other most of the time because I didn't really know anybody else there, so. And did you know anybody else at home with CVID? No. No, nobody, right? Nope. Um, New Orleans was our first conference. Um, Grayson had gotten diagnosed um, right after the last conference had finished. So um, when we went, um, I was definitely searching for um, another mom um, to talk to, and um, Grayson and Zach were in the same um, camp class together, and Heather and I um, immediately connected and just um, wanted to spend as much time together as we could throughout the rest of the conference, and um, they became like our plus, our plus two. <laughs> right, they adopted us into their family for, for the weekend because we were all by ourselves, right Zach? Yeah. And then four years went by, and we've been keeping in touch, text messaging, and um, you know, sending Christmas cards. And, um, and Grayson did a really awesome thing for Zachary this year. Because yeah. Zachary, why don't you tell about your milestone? Um, so I got my 100th infusion a couple months ago, and so I had a ton of people send me videos um, to like help me get through it, and um, Grayson sent me one. It's, um, you can't describe how um, comforting it is to have that friend um, um, with like um, values and um, very family oriented, but also that friend that you can text with a lab result or a question of a um, complication and they immediately know all the ramifications that come of that um, doctor's appointment or visit. And to know that Grayson then had that friend, no matter how far away it was, that was just like him. Yeah. And that was, I think, reassuring. Yeah, absolutely. I think what's striking to me is here we are four years later, and we haven't seen each other in four years, and it's like no time has gone by oh. at all. <laughs> um, I don't know how you, how you guys feel about that, but... I feel like we just saw each other yesterday. Well, we did see each other yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but it hasn't been four years because the connection was, was so tight and so good from the first time we met. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah. It was a blessing. It was meant to be. Yeah, for sure. Us becoming friends. And then, then, then to get to hang out and talk Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say reach out for that. Um, that friend... Um, anyone in the foundation, IDF was definitely, I think, what gave us as a family the peace of mind and comfort of, you know, it gets, e you know, it gets manageable, it gets easy. Um, there's lots of promise in the future, um, and if there is ever um, a weekend escape or a, anything, if you can't make it to national convention, there's still so much that you can glean from IDF.